Greetings, viewers, and welcome back. We're live here at Sparky Pants Studios. I'm Red Rupee. I'm Deckard. And we're here with Replay Tuesday yet again. One a week, you know us. We try to keep it at least that steady. Before we get started, though, we've got a lot going on this week. We have Thursday Night Throwdown, back with a vengeance. We're going to have a contender bout starting up that Sparky Pants Championship Excited. again. And then uh, after that, uh, our, ourselves, along with uh, potentially Four Core Jester, rocking the CSL League Finals. Yes, that's going to be exciting. The semifinals, two matches from those uh, semifinals, then the third place, and then the grand finals. Yeah, there's going to be $5,000 on the line. Those that $1,000 esports league sponsorship as well from Sparky Pants, and a little bit of extra thrown in from I Buy Power on top of all that. And, uh, uh, we can take a look at Paradelton's loadout real quick here. It's actually kind of the standard meta right now. It's the Cortex and Fury kind of high level stuff. So we're going to see probably both of those hitting level five, get that drone strike stunning entry combo. Plutus running around, getting all the bonuses from his various uh, auras and of course all his little spam where he go down here. And a big invade from Paradelton scaring off that Plutus. Pert doing something a little different though. Uh, bringing this knockout out here with both Palm Rockets and Momentum Shifter, Ooh. and then backing it up with Fury with Plasma Rifle and Maser Flare, which uh, is a really cool gear I like. He's also rocking kind of a level one blue. Oh no! Knockout wanted to jump over to that tower, but she hadn't cleared the Kavash, so all she did was snipe a Kavash from long range right there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Speaking of Kavash, this, uh, this match is going to have Eradicate, Total Vision, and Boss Slayer, and look at that, Peart is just double in eradicate uh, Kavash count, She's 73 had Fury to 39. up here. She, it took her forever to take out that hive, but in the meantime, she was just farming wave after wave up there. Plutus that's a, that's falls okay. up north on the northeast. Oh, no. I guess uh, Paradelton may be keeping an eye on things down on the southwest, finally clearing out the last of the level one hives. And uh, Fury's just dropping the Mazer Flare, getting some vision here. Anywhere those blue particles are is somewhere that Peart has vision. So something to keep in mind, he can keep an eye on all of these rigs moving in on him right now, even without controlling that vision tower. And uh, Fury finding herself maybe on the wrong uh -oh. end of a lot of damage here. Battle cry, giving that speed to Fury and Cortex. Fury's gonna have to get out of there real soon for Peter. Look at that nice grab from Knockout with that Palm Rocket save, followed oh, up by a momentum shifter, but totally missed. Still scared Cortex off that uplink. Though. Might actually now. kill Cortex. Knockout with Boom. a long range punch right there. That's the longest that. melee I've ever seen. <laughs> But uh, didn't pick up the core. Plutus better get over there and get that extra core before Fury picks it up. That's a slight misstep there. Fury was able to grab that and go back home. Yeah, Plutus could have snagged that core. It would have been another on Pierce's side of the map. He's still already sitting with three back home. Uh, and I guess, does that leave both players with three out of the four cores? I... Uh, is, there, is there one we're missing somewhere? Uh, I think one. Oh, there's the, no, Pier, Yeah, Peart has four. Uh, yes, I think Paradelton lost a core in the upper right hive when he was killed. Oh, there goes Plutus for Peart, dying real fast. Mazer Flare coming into to play to mark that area that was previously marked. And look at that Fury just taking that damage, but stutter stepping back, getting Plutus some nice damage there. But Fury's getting in trouble, gonna have to get out of there. She's out of there just fine. Plasma Drone gonna prevent any chase because of the slow that is applied. Oh, and a nice pull from Palm Rockets, followed by Momentum Shifter and the Thresher, for, I'm sorry, uh, Shredder Field. Cortex will escape this one, though. Yeah, I think he could have waited a couple. Or am I speaking wrong? Oh, man, he's a little too brazen. I almost had to eat my words. Yeah, I think I think uh, Knockout fired that Momentum Shifter a bit too early. I think she could have waited a little bit and gotten maybe an extra hit or two in yeah. there. Uh, allowed Cortex to escape, but ultimately still got him off the field. Knockout's gonna start farming. There is no Alpha Strike in this objective, but uh, 10 Kavash from that Eradicate bonus right now for Peart. Has to be careful with Knockout. Fury's actually getting pretty low too, and now the Battle Cry is activated. The chase is on. Will they be able to take out either Knockout or Fury on this pursuit? It doesn't look like they're quite gonna get it, especially with that Combat Rush keeping Fury at least well in the clear for the time being. Definitely. And now though, with that chase, Paradelton's gonna take the opportunity to take this bottom right hive, knowing that those two, rig two rigs are super low on health and needing to spend some time in the upper right, uh, I'm sorry, into their drop, sh drop, drop ship, <laughs> drop zone, drop ship. Um, and it looks like Peart doesn't even realize that the bottom right hive is being taken because he's just interested in that eradicate for himself that he just picked up that extra point and now his knockout is going to be uploading his uh, third point into the match while Fury joins Plutus. Plutus is going to go back home to heal up and boom, look at that, Paradelton just wipes away that hive in the bottom right corner. 
Yeah, knockout's up to level four, so going deep into knockout, I guess we're probably gonna see that Haymaker come online here shortly. Uh, the combination of both Haymaker and potentially stunning entry, uh, I would guess Plutus from both of these players is going to stay at least at level 1 and potentially level 2, but probably not going too far. I really like that Pierce using this mobility, actually, of the uh, Palm, Palm Rockets, Rockets. Yeah. really getting knockout across the map, which is actually really excellent to do on Juggernaut. Uh, I think more so than uh, than mine the gap because Ooh. you can jump between the towers, the hives, and the uplink. Right, and uh, look at that—a quick boss kill from uh, Paradelton. I mean, not that quick, but real close to the 10-minute mark there. So uh, that's going to be good for him with that boss buff to clear through these hives and yeah. get that upper hand on one of that one of the uh, objectives. Yeah, I mean, it took him a little while though. I'm not sure. He's he's leaving the uplink open now. He's got these couple cores. It's two to five. He's got rigs full of cores, so I think he really has to go for the uplink right now. Yeah, which he is doing. Behind. And not to mention, uh, despite all that, since he spent all that time down at the boss, he still hasn't farmed his level two hive, so he's mm. actually two squad levels behind right now. So if a team fight were to break out, that boss buff would be key, but getting the two bonus... Uh, yeah, weird position there to drop off those cores instead of leaving them back closer to the uplink. I'm a little curious about that. Maybe that's part of his strategy, though, to keep it in his vision and away from the uplink. But that travel time was oh, yeah, about you know he's 10 doing. seconds. He's, he's keeping dodging, away. He's dodging the Mazer Flare. Yeah, he that actually is dropped them smart. down outside of where he knew peard has been firing that flare. Interesting. That's, that's, that's a pretty... Pretty serious level counterplay. I like seeing all those little adjustments that players make uh -oh. when you recognize, oh man, Plutus could be in a lot of trouble. Yeah. This along with the Haymaker. Oh, wow. He misses. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. He's not going to waste the Haymaker now, I can imagine. No, he still fires it all for Unbelievable. nothing. Unbelievable. And that healing dome was saving Plutus there for sure. Knockout being able to book it out of there in time with that. Uh, what no, little passive does Knockout have? That speed whenever That's she... her passive pilot. Trait. That's right. Every time she activates an ability, she gets a speed boost. That's right. Oh, Fury getting hit with a Positron Condenser after that uh, capacity overload, or no, it was, uh... Wow, where was that root from? Oh my god, Pierce getting double killed. That was pretty quick. That was, a, yeah, that was a capacity overload into the Ion Cannon. You oh, that, I, uh, that was the Ion Cannon. That's what I was missing. But uh, Knockout now trying to harass, but it's just her against all three rigs. She doesn't have the Palm Rockets up to pull any out of position and maybe go for a quick kill. Plus, unfortunately, using that Haymaker when she did, is kind of leaving her unable to contest the field at the moment. Wow, and Healing Dome already up. That 40 second cooldown just goes by in a flash. Yeah, it's some pretty heavy, heavy healing. Like, it's it's tough to deal with. Uh, point blank hook there, trying to maybe just get a little extra damage in on Plutus, but now, Cal, now just stalling for time, trying oh, to wow. prevent that total vision from going down here. But the score after that double kill, now six to six. And I like where he's going now with this knockout. There's a Plasma Drone up there waiting. Uh, just in case they get they stop by, they've got that Plasma Drone damage to help that knockout. But looks like this is a bit of a waste now. Oh, he's dropped the core over by the by the, by the Vision Tower. Interesting. Oh no, and Paradelton has taken a huge hit by dying to the Kavash during that battle at the level three hive in the south center. Yeah, I'm not sure what was going on there, but... Uh... Even uh, you see, even Pe Peard here saw die to the Kav death by Kavash and like assumed, assumed that he was bossing. But uh, I guess he's concerned that another boss is going to go down here uh, with boss layer objective. It is kind of disconcerting, but now he seems like it's funny because that disadvantage I think actually flustered him a bit, and he's not sure how to handle things now. I think yeah. he just should have just plowed right onto that uplink. He's again, see, he's just checking the boss. He swears that some shenanigans went down, but uh. Unfortunately for him, he's mistaken, and he's just wasting a lot of time that potentially could have been his. And where are these Kavash from? Where did they he's come from? Captain. That's crazy. They got dragged all the way over from the, from the middle yeah. south high. Oh. Wow, and Drone Strike coming in from Paradelton's Cortex, taking good amount of damage on Fury, bringing her to her death. Knockout, Shredderfield, dead, dropping that armor. Not going to be able to stick around to finish those alphas off. But here's Plutus for Pierre doing some uh, distraction down at the bottom left vision tower. Plutus for Paradelton coming in to add, to, to prevent this, but that health is dwindling very quickly. Fury coming in to save the day. The uh, scatter laser was just a little off. Only a couple shots were hit. Plutus is going to have to escape while, uh, while those rep remaining replicating rifles he has finish to be their careful. job. No, but he's fine because he's got one of us. He gets to just walk right through that Kavash. Wow, true. Fury that battle cry was Perry. still up, though. I think Fury could have fired that battle cry off and hunted, hunted Plutus down for a quick, quick 
I think it only would have taken a couple more auto yeah, attacks. I think you're but... right. Anyways, eight to six right now, heading into the last five minutes, and uh, it's still anyone's game. Uh, Boss Slayer hasn't been claimed. Uh, we're getting to that kind of critical point, though, where either Peart has to take a boss right now and then try to take two back to back, or he just has to try to deny it going forward. Yeah. And maybe get. I, I, he hasn't really taken a team fight so far this game, and I think he needs one to really take this out of that kind of scary neck and neck vision that it is. Oh, oh my wow. gosh! I didn't even see Total Vision coming down there, but per he just let this. Yeah, Peridelton was distracted, and so were we. Oh, and here comes the dr oh drone strike being used from these alphas. I think he's just. I think he just wants cores as fast as he can get them at guess. this stage. Not With a that bad Total move. Vision going down, I guess he's concerned. Maybe he won't have time for bosses and to keep the uplink under control. So now Peart taking out a level three hive of his own. Uh, still and it looks split. like he's going for the boss or possibly the upper left hive. It looks like boss time. So, oh, <laughs> nice. That is a, such a nice long range pull. That almost looks like the maximum range for that bomb rocket. So it seems yeah, like Fury is used to doing that. that. And now Fury coming in to tank the damage of that to give knockout a rest. Inhibitor field going down from Plutus to prevent the attack from the boss and the minions. And now the boss goes down and the minions go down to follow. Damage boost coming up right now. And Fury and knockout are going to have to go back home to heal. But I that's think okay. So long as he's got, let's see, does he have, he's full up on core, so he can go back, heal up, still have that boss buff, and this is a great time for a team fight. It's 10 to 10, there's three minutes remaining. If you take the advantage here, it's gonna be on the opponent. You're gonna force them into a team fight at this stage yeah, to really have to fight for that uplink. Ooh, but Scatter Laser going oh, down no. very hard on Plutus. A lot of damage done. Fury then using her stunning entry. Oh no, his blue's gonna go down. Wow. It doesn't. Fury goes down instead. Knockout's now moving in 12 to 10 right now with Cortex and Plutus trying to hold strong at this uplink. However, it looks like he's just not gonna fight. There's plenty of cores all over the map. Unfortunately, uh, Plutus is just hanging out in base still. Needs to get on those cores, bring them to the uplink. Plutus and Cortex oh, still and trying to pull something the, off here. With the ion cannon. And now Plutus momentum now moving in yeah. against these two rigs that are trying to escape. Uh oh. I don't think either of them are going to go down, but it scared them off the uplink. Oh and no! Positron condenser going down, followed by drone strikes. And they're both going to survive. Hold on. Does he does? He sees these two cores down here. I think he should be bullying and going down there right now to steal those cores from his opponent. Definitely. If he can get those cores out of Paradelton's hand, this game is all but finished. Oh, wow. Oh, no, Plutus oh, in a no. lot of trouble goes down. Knockout returning to the uplink to finish the upload. And uh, with only one rig on the field, oh, I, th I think it's a big mistake letting these go. He's got the vision, but he's not taking advantage of it. Yeah, I don't know if there's a, if he's planning on double bossing. I don't, because he's only got two minutes left. I think I think he's just got to upload this core and, and defend the uplink going yeah, forward. Yeah, I think it's, you're right. Both players have two cores oh. now available to them. He's going for the last hive, but I don't think that's a good idea. I'm not sure there's the time for it. There's yeah. 90 seconds remaining. There's two rigs with cores that, I mean, if he's paying attention, he should know that those are on the field and in play. It's going to be 14 to 13 if he doesn't get out there with that knockout and stop things right now. But where's Paradelton going? Is he is going he... for the top boss? He was right next to the south hive, uh, south boss pit. The Where problem is, is now, too, is that Peart's going to have the advantage in cores, but now his rigs are all beat up. I've got them on the 12 to 14, it's going to be... I guess it's going to be 14-14. Boy. Unless he can somehow, somehow stop these. Oh no! What's going on? No! He was paying, paying attention. attention to Knockout, lost the rig down bottom, a little drop micro, and with a minute left, that's the last possible thing you want. 14 to 12 right now, 13 to and 12. And look at Paradelton, he thinks that the boss, the, the death to Kavash was from the boss. Now he's going for his own boss. But Why is he doing this? Here. This is the core that he needs to upload the game to take it into overtime. I have no idea what's going on right now. This boss might be going down, I guess, to one. Oh, I, I, I have God, no idea what the plan crazy. is here. This is madness. Knockout now getting rushed off by all three rigs, but they need to get this upload before they can do anything going forward. Where is Cortex going? Get to the uplink. There's 30 seconds remaining. Knockout's just barely limping home. Is she going to escape? Oh, dodges the dodge. shot. Still, the pursuit remains, but Plutus has that last core. Plutus loses this core. It's all over. Oh my gosh, that was such a misplay. Pluto should have been in the dropship, but just gave his opponent uh, the core he needed to finish the game at 13 to 14. And I think this, I think with that last minor misplay, 
This game's gonna go to Paradelta. Oh no, wait! Oh no, of course. Wait, he can keep uploading. Is he gonna get on it? He gets on it. Knockout's putting the damage down. Can Cortex... The stun happens! Oh no! And it's 14 to 13, the final score. Cortex <laughs> should've been on that uplink right after that boss fight at the minute mark. Luckily... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy smoke. Kirt! Just... I mean... I. It, it, that, it, it was chaos. That was amazing. It was chaos. Yeah, that was, uh, I did not expect, I completely forgot about the stunning entry, and I think so did uh, Paradelton. That game was so back and forth. Why and did Parad he Paradelton pull had... off his, I, I'm fine with him going for the boss for some reason, but leave the core behind, just get the uploads happening. No, it's what, I mean, I, I know I've, I've been talking about it a bunch and I made that video and I'm all about like, always be mindful of where your cores are. It's so important yeah. if they're on a rig that can't upload, leave it behind. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Jeez, how exciting was that? That was, that was, that was a brutal match and it came down to literally that last moment. I mean, I thought, I kept thinking that it was over for one side or another and then it yeah. kept, in, and in then those the last 30 seconds. Step, dropping the extra core, good lord. All right, well, that wraps us up for this Replay Tuesday, but we've got a couple things. Don't forget, we've got coming up on Thursday, our Thursday night throwdown, That's our right. first contender fight for the Sparky Pants Championship. And uh, then on Sunday, the second, we have uh, the CSL finals, the semifinals. Yeah, semi -finals. the grand finals, semifinals, third place, and grand finals. I think best of five for the grand finals, correct? Yeah, uh, yeah $5,000 prize pool on the line, so stick around for that. We should be having a pretty excellent crew and turnout, and... Uh, that's it for us. That's it for us. Catch you guys next time. See you, Belters.